Now to that new fallout over the fire festival. Kendall Jenner and Bella Hadid facing new questions this morning about how much they were paid to promote the failed event. A judge now demanding answers. Paula Ferris here with the details. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, George. Good morning, everyone. The models appeared in a slick promotional video. They were sipping cocktails, racing around the island on private boats. They're believed to be a large reason why the festival was able to sell so many tickets. What's happening? There's no water over there. This morning on the heels of those two newly released documentaries, the heat surrounding the infamous fire festival is now reaching a boiling point. That disastrous music festival has already imploded rapper Ja Rule's public image and landed organizer Billy McFarland in prison for fraud. And now more celebrities are being swept up in the controversy. A judge has approved a request to subpoena records from Kendall Jenner as well as the agencies representing Bella Hadid, Hailey Bieber, among other models, performers, and social media influencers who were collectively paid more than $5 million to build buzz for that now failed festival. At the heart of the issue, the promotion, including this now infamous video announcement. The actual experience exceeds all expectations. It is something that's hard to put According to court records, the agency IMG Models was paid a whopping $1.2 million to provide top talent to appear in the promo. Records also claim that Kendall Jenner was reportedly paid $275,000 to hype the event in this now deleted Instagram post. The promotion teased lush accommodations and incredible music acts all taking place on a private island in the Bahamas. VIP packages cost up to $100,000, but instead guests were welcomed by broken down tents and broken promises. Remember the sandwich now seen around the world? It's a far cry from what was promised in that promo. Anyone who'd ever been involved with event production would have understood that this wasn't possible. Like a wedding planner would have known, like absolutely no way. Hindsight's always 2020. We reached out to IMG and Kendall Jenner's team, no comment. And you saw Kendall Jenner's now deleted Instagram post seemingly endorsing the festival. Not only did that drive ticket sales, but George, some festival goers truly thought that the models we're going to be at the party. I'll bet they thought that. Okay, mm -hmm. Paul, thanks very much. Let's bring in our senior legal analyst, Sonny Hassan, Larry Hackett, our friend, managing partner at 1010 Media. Sonny, let me begin you. Let's walk through the legal process sure. right now. They've gotten these subpoenas. What happens next? Well, this is a bankruptcy uh, proceeding, so it's not a criminal case. No one's going to be criminally charged at this point. So this, a, this is a bankruptcy trustee just trying to figure out where is the money, where did the money go, and how can uh, the money be retrieved. I think what the more... So could they, could they have to give up that money? It's, it's possible. I think they're trying to get some money back to some of the people that have lost money. But George, I think what the more interesting issue here is the perhaps civil liability for these influencers like the Bella Hadids and the Kendall Jenners. I mean, Kendall Jenner got $250,000 for one post. And when she posted that, though, she didn't tell her followers that she was getting the two hundred and fifty dollars or $275,000. And so I always say the law takes such a long time to catch up with technology, but this fire Festival case is the test case. Will influencers now be responsible to their followers for these sort of deceptive yeah, practices. Yeah, how much blame should they get and how much will this hurt their brands? I think it's a lot of fun to try to blame supermodels for what happened here <laughs> and to see whether or not their, their brands will be damaged. I don't think it's going to be damaged at all and I don't think they should really be getting any blame. Billy McFarlane, the promoter, is the guy who's at fault here. I don't think there's anybody who would not have gone if, if Kendall Jenner's social media post had said I'm getting paid. People who follow her know that she gets paid for everything she puts on there. She's worth tens of millions of dollars. I don't think anybody would be deluded by that. the question is, is she being deceptive by not telling people that she's getting paid. I mean, is that fraudulent? The FTC, which is the federal agency responsible for protecting consumers like right. us from these deceptive practices, sent out letters to 90 influencers, 90 celebrities saying, uh -uh -uh -uh. when you do this kind of thing, you are going to be held responsible. You must tell people, this is a sponsorship ad. This is an advertisement. Right. You are like getting paid for it. Exactly. Paid for this Absolutely. Message. So she may be held responsible. And I she think there is a duty to tell us. I, again, I don't think anybody in real life who was planning to go to this would not have gone if they had known that Kendall Jenner and the other models got paid. I don't think that's what the influencing is about. I think people who follow this mm. and are influenced by this mm -hmm. are fully aware that everything they do is transactional. But did they expect Kendall to be there? 
Well, that's a whole other issue. And what Billy McFarland was selling here and what Fire was selling is, you know, as old as the hills, right? You know, pretty women, sun and sand, and bands. I mean, this has been going on since, this is the 50th anniversary of Woodstock. While it may have been different yeah. and the fashions were different, they were selling the same kind of thing. Get together with your friends and have a party in the woods. But they're selling an experience. Exactly. Be like me. Right. Come party with me. It, that's very different. Come party with people like me. If anybody thought <laughs> that they were going to be actually hanging out with Kendall Jenner, they should be parted with their $3,200. They don't deserve to get it back. <laughs> that is the last we heard this morning. Thank you both very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.